Have you been sick? I had been sick as a dog. You know why I ask you that? Why? Because you just don't have any color to you <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, me, that's true. I, I hadn't noticed, but I am looking kind of That's a pale. fine black and white uh -huh. outfit you're yes, wearing, uh -huh. and me too. Yours is lovely too. We're done up today in totally startling monochrome. Right. <laughs> to protest the colorization of those films. It's just terrible and Ted Turner, shame on you. But that's all right, we're protesting by decolorizing our show. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we have a staff of 15 people right now working around the clock, right. decolorizing, taking all the color out of all of our <laughs> former shows that we've done for the last seven years. Right. <laughs> Hard as we can. Oh, um, well, hey, welcome to Cooking Cheap. How you doing? Uh, don't adjust your set, okay? We'll have to remind you of that periodically. Yes. You remind me Do to remind not them periodically. adjust your, your set. set. It is only a picture. Mm -hmm. Please send. Oh, we got some letters. Yes, we do. Oh, and they're in black and white. <laughs> oh, they are, too. It's wonderful. Love your show. Love your good recipes. Love you, period. <laughs> Gladys Howard. Remember, please leave your sets adjusted. Just wanted you to know I love you and the show. So does my husband. <laughs> I have only seen it for about two weeks. Channel 24 in San Ber Bernardino, California. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Has been broadcasting at 11 a.m. Well, we're sorry to hear that because I don't have permission to. No, <laughs> only kidding, only kidding. Hi out there in San Bernardino. Fantastic. I am an expert cook, but you two make everything seem so easy and fun that a beginner cook could learn to cook easily. <laughs> only one problem. Starting Monday, they have taken the program off the air. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've only run two weeks in California, and they've already canceled the show. I'm dying. Well, I hope not literally. I'll do all I can to get it back on. Do you have a cookbook? It's signed, The Frugal Gourmet. No, no, no I was just joking. Good luck to both of you and uh, Miss... Uh, what was that? Uh, Miss Witch. Miss Witch and, and the, the sisters. sisters. Love Joseph, Joseph, Joan Littlefield. All right. Well, thank you, Joan. <laughs> From Barris, California. Uh huh. How about that? And uh, dear Laban and Larry, when are you going to peel an onion on the right, easy, tearless way? <laughs> the right way, no tears. What? Huh? Ah. Cut the top off. Oh. Leave the root part on. Do not cut the root. That's where you get the tears. I love your show. Wouldn't miss it. Please try this way. Amy Pierman. Thank you, Amy. Do you believe that? No, I don't believe I for don't a minute. Either. I've heard that one. I've tried it. It doesn't work either. I There's don't think it matters. There's not a way in the world to do an onion that you don't cry eventually. I think you could cut the thing underwater and mm -hmm. you'd cry. Really. I love your show and you keep on being sloppy. For well, that indicates your good cooks. Oh, good. <laughs> it's been written by Ms. Ms. W. H. Clark. So there we go. Letters well, from around the world. You know, Another we're, exciting uh, version of the We're going to get fat today, Bly. No? Yeah. This oh, is, this is the, our the, Sweetie Pie yeah, show. This yeah, this is the Sweetie Pie show with the desserts, and I'm doing one. A viewer sent in for a fudge pie to die for. Mm, and you don't have to see fudge in color because you know it's kind of brown. Yeah. So, so anyway. But then so was and that so I, was that guacamole right. dip that well, you while, served last while week. Well, we're sort of in this direction, let me stand here and then here's my <laughs> personal philosophy uh, this week about the <laughs> dessert. I swear, there's a lot of kids out there that doesn't know what any of that means, that word calorie. Oh, they'll all know right. all right. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you making? What I'm making a fudge pie from ben, Brenda, Brenda, Brenda Jackson of Powhatan, Virginia. Well, mine's not well, from Manhattan. Powhatan. Mine's that was not named from the anybody. Great Indian Chief. Oh, really? But I don't believe he ever had fudge pie. I'm doing like a peach thaw. A peach thaw. Yes. <laughs> a peach thaw. Oh, that sounds Which real is a, tasty. Which is a drink, a dessert drink. Oh. I guess is how you'd have to explain it. Marvelous. Yeah. Marvelous. Do you want to go first? Well, why to... not? All right. Now, now take your time. Now, <laughs> today's show is being brought to you in startling black and white. Now, I want to show everybody something. You know, we've been using for years around here those pie shells. Mm -hmm. Well, now, I don't guess it makes any difference. Pillsbury. This is the next step up. Pillsbury huh? has come out with these already pie crust, mm. and they're light years better oh. than the regular ones. And uh, 
So uh, it says for flaky tender pie, and they're really wonderful. And our good friend Miss Tony Burke, you know Miss Tony, yeah, Miss Tony, food editor, mm -hmm. said try these; they're as good as homemade, and you'll never use those frozen ones again. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And they come all wrapped up here. Is this a, uh, an endorsement of some kind? Are you getting paid on the side no, for this, not uh, a, Johnson? No, not a penny. Are you making money I don't know anything about? Uh... Not yet. Oh. <laughs> now, all, there it is. It's all rolled out. You can see it well, right there, That is there, a great neat little tray. I've never actually seen one of these. And uh, all you do is put a little bit of flour on it. Hmm. And diddle it around here. As you know, Johnson and I have always maintained in this kitchen down through the years, we both have the same philosophy when it comes to making pie dough, that with the exception of sweet pie doughs that are made out of graham crackers and more exotic pie doughs, yet pie dough is pie dough right. is pie dough is pie dough. And let me tell you Oh, something. I said that and a dog came in. Fido arrived. What? You, you know, sure, yes, it's true. It would be cheaper to make your own. Yeah. But we're talking about just pennies of difference and not worth me, the time. It's not worth the time. So there's my My philosophy has always been no one has ever said, Oh, this is great uh, dough underneath this pie. So you people just, talk about the pie, they never talk about the dough. You just never. put it in there. And if they and, do, they're liars. And smooth it down, and there's your pie dough in your pan. And then, you know, we'll... And it looks homemade, even if it's yeah, not. Yeah, and you can fool people. <laughs> and we do. Does that and, come frozen, or is that just... Uh, well, uh, you can, I think you can get it both ways. This one is was not frozen. Yeah. And you get it in the dairy case where you pick up the... Uh, now, you see what he's doing? He's the crimping the edges, which makes it really look homemade. Uh -huh. Are you going to take your little knife and go around the edge like all the uh -huh. professionals do? Yeah. Do you have a knife over there? Uh-huh. All right. But anyway, this is the uh, the way you make your pie shell. Hmm. And, you, of course, you could use a fork and go around here. And then, of course, I always like to to make use this pie dough on something, you know. And believe me, this really is easy to go around here with this knife. And you can take this pie dough and give it to the kids that I got in my hand here and mash it flat as a pancake and put a little sugar and a little cinnamon and a little butter on it and roll it up and make a uh, bird's nest or a beehive in the oven. Mm -hmm. And they're just real tasty and flaky. But now there's my, my pie. And what I'm going to do now is mix up the, uh, the fudge part. And this is so easy, it's just a sin. All right, you need a cup of sugar. And we got some fine sugar here, so. And I know that people get tired of having all this sugar on the show, but you know, what do you, all right, a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and that'll be four of these measures. We have lost the uh, tablespoon measure down in the. Oh, no. Yes. We'll never oh. find that again. Two. Three, six. Th this is a one and a half table, uh, teaspoon measure. Four. And there are three teaspoons to a tablespoon, in case you didn't know that. <clears throat> and we need some coca, so we're going to have to have four tablespoons of coca powder. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Those things never were easy to get off. One. Two. All right, that's one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Well, this is going to be real chocolatey, isn't it? And four tablespoons, yep. And I've always loved the smell of that stuff. Oh, I know. It smells fabulous. It really does. And a half mm -hmm. a cup of milk. Mm -hmm. Think of all the cocoas that gave their lives for this can. Uh -huh. One half a cup of milk and two eggs, and I have them here in my famous can o eggs. You didn't know you got them like this now, did you? No, no, I didn't. Yeah, Let me they be honest with they've you. They've been coming like this for some time. They're, I really It's a didn't. lot easier. You don't have to buy a whole dozen. You just, I didn't realize this was going to take so long. So well, just, well, you know, just read on the read National Enquirer the there. National. there. Oh, that's the famous Liberace National, issue. Uh, perspire. Well, oh, how humiliating. 
I can't believe you'd read trash like that. Three tablespoons of melted margarine. If I'd watch trash like this, I'd margarine. certainly read trash like that. What? Three tablespoons of melted margarine. Oh, you got a good perk going there. It seems and to be perking down one real good. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh-huh. All right, now we're gonna mix all that up together. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I don't know. You don't believe my one teaspoon measure? All right, now we know this is going to be a mess. We do? Well, sure. <laughs> We know oh, that you my, need more cord for one thing. My beater is, I need Billy and the beaters here. <laughs> and you just beat this mixture up real good. Uh-huh. Just beat it to death. Uh-huh. Just like we beat this show to death Flail. for seven years. <laughs> well, it's not as messy as I thought it was going to be. And we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Oh. And I'll show what it looks like after you have finished uh, your peach thaw. Oh. And, but you do need to mix it up real good so you get all the lumps out of it. Now watch this. Ah, one hand, you, one hand. I believe you beat all the color out of it. You know, we never have had a good mixing bowl down here for a, for a real honest to goodness electric mixer. I know it. We're going to have to get one one of these years. We're going to have to go plumb off our budget next year and spend about $3. Well, you know, we'll have new management here, and we'll be able to, well, maybe not, I don't know. I'm just kidding. How's it coming along, Larry? Well, you know, I don't have a, a spa, uh, what do you call those things, a spatula? Spatula. I don't think we have one anymore. shake down the edge of it with. But you just have to make do. <coughs> How do you make that? <clears throat> okay. Now, this next part is real hard. What, throwing the uh, beaters in the, oh, there you go. That's, that's it? that's it. That's all? Uh-huh. Now, you don't put anything over it? No. Nope. Now, how long does that bake? 30 minutes. <laughs> At what? 350 degrees. 350 degrees. And it degrees. comes out like this. And when it comes out, it comes out good. Well, isn't that gorgeous? It's, it, it's just baked up with a fine little top on it. Now, what I've got here is, Lovely. this is a... A new little gadget layer right here. And what is it? It looks like a tongue of some Well, it's kind. a little special thing that you put down in here before you put your pie crust down. Yeah. And you cut like that, and then you lift this one the out. The first one so out. So it comes out just is real easy. Is that a new invention? Uh-huh. Is that something brand spanking? Well, I have The cutting seen it edge of technology, Now, so you to could speak. put a meringue on this. Or? Or I'm going to use some Cool Whip. Cool. I'm glad to hear we don't have to watch you do that meringue again. <laughs> so so I'll, see that old I'm going to meringue this thing and then oh, it's beautiful. I'm all ready and I think I could have a, <coughs> my throat's kind of dry. <laughs> Maybe I could have a, a cool drink. Well, strange you should say that, Mr. Johnson, because we're going to answer your prayers. Right oh, now we're gonna make was that up the champagne I just heard of. No, there? it was this fine bottle of Schweppes ginger ale. <laughs> oh, but it looks so open. unappetizing in black and white. Well, it really does. What we're going to do? This is a really just a, sort of a little. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, a fizz. It's a type of fizz, I guess oh, you'd call it. You mean like a slow fizz? Yeah, sort of like that. But anyway, this is a peach thaw or a peach fizz, and you start out with a container of frozen uh, peaches. And I have freestone peaches because they're just darn good. There's nothing free about them. I don't know why they call them that. Uh, and you thaw them. Now they've been laying around out in my car languishing all day long. Put the juice in there too while you to Put the juice in there, Bruce. There we go. And just let them thaw. You don't have to worry, guys. It won't take seven minutes to do this. That's what I'm worried about. Anyway, now, that's about a 10 ounce package. It's a little, really a little bit more than 10 ounces sliced peaches thawed. And then we need about two tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. 
So I'm just gonna take me a fresh lemon, try and get the little things out of there. The little what out of there? The uh, seeds. Oh, the seeds. Oh dear, it's going everywhere. Going 40 ways to Sunday. One, <laughs> two, almost. <laughs> Boy, I hope I don't choke Two, on a seed. Two, definitely, for sure, just in case. There we go. All right, and then we put in uh, two-thirds cup of sugar. And I'm going to have to guess because I don't have, oh, well, let me use your, uh, let me, uh, no, 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 two-thirds of cup. I need the cup. Well, now, let me rinse, rinse it out. It's rinse it out. Well, while we're doing that, we'll put the other stuff in. We need uh, three-quarters teaspoon ground nutmeg. Here. Three quarters teaspoon ground nutmeg. I'm just I don't have any. You don't have any measuring. freshly ground? Uh well if I do, I I no, I don't. I, hmm. I don't. I thought I did. Although we do have nutmegs back there. I could have ground them up in this thing ahead of time. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting idea. A little late at this point. Well, you know. Quarter teaspoon of ground Story ginger. In my life. I have fresh ginger at home too, but have you ever tried to grind the stuff? It is a terrible mess. I you hate grate it. it. Yeah, I know. Grates on you. Grates on you real bad. All right. Now, what all have we put in there, boys and girls? That's the ground. It says gowned nutmeg, but I'm sure oh. it means ground nutmeg. No, it means little nutmegs. and yeah. They have little academic gowns on, little black gowns. A quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger. Now, what we got to do is put, oh, we need the sugar. I almost forgot about that. Went on so about this other stuff. Two-thirds cup of sugar. Two-thirds cup would be right about there. Throw that in there. All right. Now, we're going to not do a darn thing. There we go. that thing slipped a cog or something. It didn't sound too good. It didn't sound very good to me. All right, now here's, here's what we do at this point. This is the tough part. Get yourself some attractive glasses, <laughs> the front of which you will not see on these. And what you do is you pour this thing about, uh, oh, about half full. Doesn't that look pretty? Like so. All right. And then... You take ginger ale and you pour it, Woo! it's fizzing up. You have to do it, you have to add it gradually and you're going to stir it after you get it in there but you have to do it very gradually, otherwise it just goes everywhere. And mix it around, it's a nice little, nice little fruity drink and best that you do this in glasses that have been chilled. These have not been. In fact, these are right hot glasses. <laughs> and chill the glasses and make sure that your your peaches are fairly well. That they're to be thawed, but you know you can actually use them when they're not quite thawed because it'll just make it that much colder. Cool your ginger ale, and there you have it. A nice little. Doesn't it look pretty? It's just lovely. It's a picture of loveliness. You can make a whole bunch of those for all your friends. And they just bubble up and froth mm -hmm. up. They're wonderful. In black and white. In black and white. They uh, would be colorful if you saw them in color. But, of course, these are just in black and white. Now, <laughs> here's what, what we got uh, as far as recipes are concerned. Perhaps you'd like to see those. The peach thaw, which you just saw. Is a 10 ounce package of frozen sliced peaches thawed. They can just be a little bit, still a little frozen. Two tablespoons of lemon juice, two thirds cup of sugar, three quarters teaspoon ground nutmeg, quarter teaspoon ground ginger. Always best to use fresh if you have it. One 28 ounce bottle of uh, chilled ginger ale and four slices fresh. Oh, the oranges. You top it off with oranges. I forgot oh. all about that part. Go ahead. Well, let, let me do the other recipe while we're waiting for you to get out your oranges. I forgot the oranges. Oh, how terrible. 
the fudge pie from Brenda. It's a cup of sugar, two tablespoons flour, four of coca, a half a cup of milk, two beaten eggs, three tablespoons melted margarine, a teaspoon of vanilla, and one pie shell. And that comes out to a beautiful fudge pie. And a tasty one, too. I, uh, now, what you do with this, if you garnish this with a slice of orange, mm -hmm. just stick it right on the edge there. It looks real lovely. Just pretend that my finger is an orange Oh, snips. that is so lovely. It is. Such a lovely gray. Anyway, and she's making coming one of in, her famous, yes, I am, no, I'm not appearances. Well, let's see here what she's at. Be out with you. Gentlemen. Wish. Yeah. I was appalled at the request for all that sugary sweetness last week. I want something tangy, a bit tart to the tongue. Do you know any tart recipes, mm -hmm. that is? <laughs> and that's from the lovely Bennett Springs in Farnsworth, Idaho. <laughs> Bennett Springs. Do we? Oh, yeah, we know a couple of tarts, and oh, we'll okay. do them next week. All right. Okay. Right here on the show. Well, time to try this stuff out. Yeah. Let me get my knife. Oh, how, how attractive. Uh, uh, a... Uh, Electric mixer on the floor. <laughs> Remind me not to use that again sometime soon. Here's your drink. Oh, good. Well, let me cut you a piece of pie. Totally non-alcoholic. Quite lovely. Quite nice. Now, let's see how this little gadget's going to work. Mmm. Wow. Not bad. Oh, yes, the new gadget. Boy, this pie is really fudgy. What's wrong? What's wrong? Have you lost your place? Now, don't cut yourself, Johnson. It wouldn't be a very good scene. Well, I'm Although in black and white, it doesn't matter too much, really. <laughs> All right, here we go. Patent pending. <laughs> Wonderful, it worked. I'm proud of you. I'm proud too. I can't wait to try Ooh, this. You're right. It is. It's leaden, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's fudge. It's, oh, okay. Mmm. Oh, I love it. Is it good? Mm. Well, let me try this delicious that orange drink. That is a fine dessert. Mm -hmm. That's it for us. Ooh, that's good. You like that? Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye.